Here I'm going to show you the difference between the find and the search function in Excel. Though they are very similar, there are some important differences that will dramatically change the outcome of larger formulas that may rely on the find or search function. Before we start, check the video description and click the link to teach Excel so you can download the files for the tutorial and follow along. And make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials. So before we get started with the differences, let's make sure that we're on the same page with what the find and the search function do. And we'll do that with some quick examples over here. Equals find. We have three arguments, find text, within text, and start number. Find text is what you're searching for. Within text is where you're searching for it. And start number is where you want to start searching for it. Let's go with a simple example first and we'll hard code everything. Say we're going to search for A and we want to search for it in CBA. Find is going to return the position where it finds A within this text. And that is position 1, 2, 3. So it should give us 3. Perfect. And search is going to do basically the same thing with the same arguments. And this is why people mix the two up. And it can cause, as I mentioned, massive problems with big complex formulas. Because that's where these two functions really shine, is in big formulas that do really complex and cool things in Excel. So here, we're going to look for A, and we're going to look for it in CBA. No start num this time. And find text within text and start num, they do the exact same thing for search that they do for find. So we're going to get three. Now let's say that you want to do something with start num. So let us make this a little bigger and let's put an A in here. So now there are two A's. Right now it's going to return one for both because it finds A in position one. But let's say that we want to start looking from position two. So it'll start here and then it won't see the first A because it has skipped it. So the next one it will find is now in position four. And that's how it works. We'll do the same over here, start num four. Great, we have two functions that do the same thing. How nice. Now let's go and talk about the difference. All right, so first we're going to do a simple example where we have a lookup value and we're going to try to find it in here. This time we're going to use cell references and we're going to use a word for our find text instead of a single letter. You'll notice that it doesn't matter if we're looking up a single letter or a word or multiple words. It's going to look for a value within this cell right here. And it will return the position of the first character where it matches this text. Position 4. Sometimes it can be a little confusing because you think there are five characters here. What number is it going to return? How is it going to do this? Well, it just returns where it found the first character of what you're looking for. Search is going to work, of course, exactly the same. Don't worry, we're going to get to the first difference very soon. Value, value, enter, four. Now, let us go up here where we see this lovely value error and let us look for a value down here, where it is a capital V. A value error. It cannot find it. What happens if I make this a capital V? Can it find it? You bet. And then the first one messes up. So you may think, why am I going to use find? It can't find a value down here. So find is case sensitive. That means that capitalization matters. A capital letter is not the same as a lowercase letter when it comes to the find function. That may not seem very important, but in many different situations, it's very important to distinguish between capital and lowercase. Think of unique ID numbers. Think of a lot of URLs where a capital letter is different than a lowercase letter. It may send you to a different page even. Search does not care about case. So search is going to see this value down here the same as any other value and return for. 
This is the most important difference between these two functions, and this is what will really get you into trouble when you're making much more complex formulas. And you start to type find, and you think, but wait, what about search? And then you type search, and you just look at the argument, and you forget that it's case sensitive because the part that tells you it's case sensitive is at the very end of this little description. And who reads this anyway? Nobody does. And if you do, it might even confuse you because here it says find returns the starting position of one text string within another text string. Find is case sensitive. OK. OK. Now let's go here. Search. It's a little off the screen, but I'll read it for you. Returns the number of the character at which a specific character or text string is first found, reading left to right, not case sensitive. OK, I think that Microsoft used two different groups to write the description for search and find. They must have been located in completely different parts of the world, and they must not have communicated much with each other. They do basically the same thing, but the description for them can sound really confusing. So what's the most important thing to get? Find. Case sensitive. Uppercase, lowercase, it matters. Search doesn't matter. A word is a word, or a letter is a letter doesn't matter. Now, just to throw you off a little bit more, you could, if you had to use find, you could equalize everything. Okay, so for instance, we could use upper. This is used in programming a lot when you want to have a comparison and you don't want to have to worry about upper or lowercase. You just make everything uppercase or everything lowercase. So find upper value within text upper And then we close find, and then it finds it at position four. So here, value, value, error. Here, value, value, and it works. Now, this is a bit of a hack. But if for some reason you do need to use find, then equalize the cases using either upper or lower. Just make sure that you do it the same for each one. Now let us move on to the second difference between find and search. The second difference is wildcard. Now a wildcard character is a very important and powerful thing that allows you to match multiple characters regardless of what it is. So you can match part of a pattern. For instance, notice down here we have ASC-1 and ASC-1. Well, the wildcard will match both of these. It doesn't matter. But if you can't use a wild card, then you're going to have to be very specific. Do you want to match the one with the dash or the one with the slash? Now, the search function will allow us to use wild cards. The find function will not allow us to use a wild card. And a wild card character can be an asterisk, a question mark, or a tilde, or a squiggle, if you want to call it that. So the asterisk will match any character, doesn't matter how many and it doesn't matter what it is. The question mark will only match a single character. Tilde allows you to match exactly an asterisk or a question mark. And you input it like this right here, tilde asterisk, tilde question mark. In order to use the wildcard characters, you use them directly. So here, we're going to do a regular find, looking for ASC-1 right in this cell and with the hashtag on the front, and it finds it in position 11. Down here we do the same thing. And let's go ahead actually and put the hashtag on this guy just to equalize it a little bit more. So the only difference now is a wildcard character. Now for find, it's going to look for this down here. And it's not going to find anything because it is specifically looking for ASC question mark one. This one will find it because the question mark is a wildcard character. Search reads wildcard characters and a wildcard character. It is directly put in the text. There is no single quotes around it. There's no double quotes around it. You directly put the wildcard character right in there. And that's important if you are using a lookup value that contains the wildcard character. So this wildcard character now, question mark, it is going to look for down here, 
anything that has hashtag ASC, whatever is in the middle, doesn't matter, just one character, and then a one. And it finds it in position 11 because that's where it is. So let's change the slash to, let's say, a K. Now it finds it, no problem. Let's change it to a dash, no problem. Let's change it to two dashes, problem, because the question mark only matches a single character. But what if I change it to an asterisk? No problem, because an asterisk can match any number of characters. So let's back that up and leave it at a question mark and a slash. And now you can see that with the search function, you could even accidentally include the wildcard characters in the lookup value, in the text that you're looking for. And that actually can cause problems and may be one reason why you might want to use the find function instead of the search function. Now this problem, it doesn't occur as often as the difference between a capital and a lowercase letter. However, it's one you really need to pay attention to. Probably more if someone's going to put an asterisk in there than if they're going to put a question mark in there. But you still need to pay attention to that. So there are two big differences, capitalization and wildcard characters. And now you understand the differences and can better watch out for them in your own formulas. I hope you liked the tutorial. If it was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials.